Hey, happy Friday. Tom Ferry, your coach. Thanks for checking in and watching this quick video. I asked a question this morning on Facebook, and it's a question that I like to ask myself a lot, and that is, if I met myself 10 years from now, I was able to meet my future self, if you will, what questions would I ask? And what advice would my future self, me 10 years from now, give me today to get through some of the challenges, the roadblocks, the struggles, and the triumphs that we'll all deal with over the next decade? It's such a powerful question because it really just allows you to get inside yourself and project out 10 years from now, how do I want my life to be? So, so that's not my assignment for you today, though I think it's a great question. Here's my assignment for you. Um, one of the things I love to do this uh, around this time of the year, especially as we're going into another decade, is I would challenge you to ask yourself this question. What did your life look like in 1999? Remember 1999? Remember, oh my goodness, uh, it's 1999. What's going to happen to the banks? Will my computer work? You know, 2000, the whole world's going to fall apart. Remember that year? So 1999. Look at your life. Where were you physically? Where were you mentally? Where were you emotionally? Um, how were your relationships? How was your money? What were you doing with your career? What kind of contribution were you making? So you, you took a look at the categories of your life and you look back and say, 10 years ago, where was my life? Then take it and fast forward to today. Where are you today, physically, mentally, emotionally, in your relationships, in your career, in your finances, your income, um, your spirituality? Who are you today? And then you stop and you just say, wait a minute, is there a gap? You know, certain areas, guess what? You might be exactly the same. But in other areas, and by the way, that could be scary, in other areas, you could have had major growth, major growth over the last 10 years. And that's the point I want you to get. See, most people completely overestimate what they can do in one year. You know, they sit down with their business plan and they go, I'm going to go for a 100% increase and I'm going to, I'm going to lose, you know, 37 pounds on Tuesday and I'm going to turn my relationship and every problem I've ever had in the last 20 years of being married around by Friday. We have a tendency to overestimate what we can do in a year and we underestimate what we can accomplish in a decade. Think about it. 1999. Who were you? What was going on in your life? How would you sort of categorize how your life was? How is it today? And then the big question that I really want you to answer is, 10 years from now, 2019, doesn't that almost sound strange, 2019? 2019, how old will you be? How's your life? How's your relationship? How's your health and vitality? How's your business? How's your income? How's your spirituality? How's the contribution you're making to your community? How are you? Who are you being? What are you all about? And Think about it, think about it. From 1999, that was like that long ago, to today, and then deciding where you wanna be 10 years from now. Now I know this is a big message for a Friday morning and I always try and keep Fridays relatively light, and yet I wanna challenge you. Now more than ever, this year's gonna go by, bam, we're gonna be in 2010 like that. Let's decide, not what is it we wanna do next year and get it all done by Tuesday, but instead, how much growth could I have over the next 10 years? I think you'll find a lot of joy in that conversation if you just take the time to start journaling it out. So that's my advice for you on this fine Friday morning. Um, always remember, always remember your strategy matters and your passion rules. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you know someone you think you should send this to, if there's someone you know that maybe needs to think about the last 10 years and where they're going in the next 10, please pass it along and it'll make a difference for somebody. All right, take care.